the gray dots are the control group and the black dots are the treatment group. This is an example of the common trend assumption or parallel trend assumption. Now see an example of the violation of the common trend assumption. In this interval, there is a positive trend in the treatment group, but in the control group, there is a slightly negative trend. In this case, control and the treatment group, they are different. But for this interval, the common trend assumption, it looks valid, it looks parallel. But if you look carefully, the treatment group has a slight steeper line. This generates a positive bias, where you overestimate the impact of the treatment variable. The diff and diff estimator would return to you 0.11, that is the distance between B minus E, but the true impact would be smaller than 0.11. How we can mitigate the problem of the violation of the common trend assumption? We can model the time trend. We can add the time trend to the diff and diff specification. We can allow that the treatment and the control group, they have different time trends. We have to understand that the diff and diff is not an experiment. Therefore, diff and diff relies on the assumption that you have a reasonable control group for the treatment group. In the obvious, the two groups are different. They are different in the outcome variable. That's why, in general, for diff and diff, you add many controls variables in the specification. The logic is make control and treatment group as similar as possible. If you want to know more about diff and diff, you can read the book Impact Evaluation Practice from the World Bank. And the book is available for free as well. And if you want to know more about the time trend in diff and diff, you can watch these videos here.